Not Citizens. <laughs> <laughs> we are going to watch the most popular DCEU movie. The end of the DC Extended Universe oh, man. has arrived, flopping its way into the island. It is Aquaman <laughs> and the Lost Kingdom, ladies and gentlemen. This came out when there were several things out that I had to be very much present for when it came to editing and stuff. So I was like, there's no way I'm watching this in theaters. And I said, all right, sweet. Then I could just react to it with these two gentlemen, of course. <laughs> Dat John Humphrey and the Andrew Gordon. How are you, Andrew? Ahoy, I'm doing well. I am so excited for the most anticipated DCEU film ever. ever. Amen to that, brother. Uh, I was planning on rewatching the first one last night, but due to some scheduling errors, I wasn't able to, so I had to do like editing until really late at night. Did you guys rewatch it? I took care of that for you, you don't worry. You both put it on while making dinner. <laughs> awesome. Well, I'm going to rely on you two to remind me of certain things, but I think I saw the first one twice in the theater, so it should be all right. Hopefully. But you guys know what to do? Leave a like on this video. That would be exceptionally appreciated. Also, subscribe, click the notification bell to get notified when we got a reaction up on this channel that might pique your interest. Also, thank you to Prepper for helping us edit down these highlights. As always, the full-length reaction watch-along, that's where you sync up with your own copy, available for Super Sexy Rejects at our Patreon page. Thank you to all who have been joining, helping us have a blossoming Patreon page. Over there, John and I cover several things exclusively with highlights and watch-alongs included. All right, boys, you ready to do this? Let's do it. My man. Man, there's so much fish. Look at all the fish. Yeah. Whoa! Ooh. Ooh. It's that death sentence, James Wan. Yeah! <laughs> we getting into Black Manta's backstory? Is this his backstory? I feel like Aquaman's just gonna save these people is what we're getting, right? But Black Manta is also on this ship, and his dad's or gonna not. die again. Never mind. Everybody's good at something. Me? I talk to fish. That's how I met my friends. <laughs> hey! hey Sue Storm? Fun. Storm from the X-Men? I need a lift. He's my man. Some people think that makes Ooh. me a joke. You're not a joke, Uncle Man. You know why? Because I'm also good at something else. Kicking Being ass. badass! <laughs> and that's breaking heads. Yeah! <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! I knew it, yeah. Why did you have to cut away there? Aww. Oh, okay. <laughs> Chum lickers, fun name. The Chum Bucket! <laughs> From those seats. Woo! <laughs> Sorry, Pops. My man. <laughs> He's used to this. It's like I'm reading the script for Boba Fett season two. Leave me alone. Oh, yeah. This is my son. See, four years ago, everything changed. I met a woman. I fell in love. Ever heard? <laughs> we entered her out of the movie. <laughs> Whoa. This little guy's the best thing Whoa, ever Whoa, CG baby mouth. There she is. She's in the movie. See? This kid, he doesn't sleep. Just how many badass sequences? Oh, uh, right in the mouth! I'm up with crack of dawn because on top of getting married and having a kid, I finally got a job. An actual job? On Hollywood Boulevard. I'm the king of frickin' Atlantis. <laughs> I clock in at 9 a.m. But then, as it turned out, being king wasn't all it's cracked up to be. It's just me <laughs> politics. Oh. Uh, dude. Uh, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Who's he narrating to? The only thing that makes all the hard work of sleepless nights worthwhile is hanging with my little man. My oh! little man! <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> you just pee on it! Like in the first movie, you just pee on it! At least it wasn't a turd. <laughs> I gotta keep the feet Got it. How far? Got it. That's cool. Uh, so I gotta take down the legal cage fighter, too. Wowie! Oh, awesome! But for everything I get right, something else gets screwed up. Ooh! Oh. 
Quite a visceral reaction to that fire truck there, John. Yeah, I had one just like it. Oh. The kid. <laughs> <laughs> Tomorrow Morrison really has the widest teeth. This is just B-roll of a day off on set. <laughs> He's on that Norman Reedus AMC show. <laughs> He's just having a lot more fun being on land than he is in Atlantis. So, he's going to need a little brother or sister to play with. That ain't happening. This is the last one. <laughs> yeah. He's got a dog. <laughs> like, I'm serious. Well, how lonely it was for you growing up. An only child. Hey, he had a brother. Yeah, it's true. A half-brother. Don't be too hard on yourself. Turns out I have a brother, and he's a total <laughs> bag. <laughs> Your relationship with Orm isn't how it usually is. You'd be surprised. Orm not so sure about that. Sure, siblings bicker and fight, but at the end of the day, they're family. You should be able to count on them for help. You should be able to share Coronas with them. I'll still take the dog over him any day. <laughs> should have a son and name him Lobo. Hey, look at that. Oh, oh, look out now, Aqua Child. Holy crap. Who would have thought? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, baby boy. You talking to the fishies? He's writing a new scene for them. My whole life I've wanted to share this gift with someone. But you and me, son, are different. Aww. I can't wait to introduce you to all the majestic creatures on our planet. Jason Moe has so much fun. Yeah. I know. Let's see the transition. Bring me a happy meal. Oh no! That's a tidal smash? Can't believe the baby did that! <laughs> a tidal wave into a title smash! Hey man, this is moving at a cheesy pace that feels intentional, so I'm here for it. I'm having a good time. <laughs> yes. I'm hoping I walk away from this movie going, I got it! <laughs> <laughs> this was for me! <laughs> Is that the Black Manta theme? Oh, Press look out. The coordinates from Dr. Shen. Nothing. Still no sign of Atlantean remnants under the ice. Whew. Ooh, look at that scar. Yeah. It's badass. Funny how his scar's diagonal. <laughs> but the <laughs> Manta scar right. is straight down the line. Straight down the <laughs> You know. Every day I don't fix my power suit is another day Aquaman gets to live. My power suit. Where's my super suit? Check again. We're close this time. I can feel it. I'm going to be seeing that discrepancy with the scar. Yeah, <laughs> the where it should be going now. down diagonals. <laughs> Just do it right down the center of his face. Day 463, Dr. Stephen Shin recording. Randall Parks. David Kane is losing his patience. If I don't turn up the Atlantean technology he's looking for soon, they're probably going to kill you. You know what? Let's not even go there. I'm sure everything will be fine. How are your magic lessons coming along? Where is he going to visit Jack Torrance? <laughs> yeah, he's going to unearth them. Please tell me you found something. Seismic arrays going crazy. Where's the epicenter? We're standing on it. Oh man, Hollow Earth. You found exactly what you were looking for. It's no longer a wild goose chase. Oh boy. Yeah, I was gonna say that's usually the sign to run. Oh no. A trench is opening up. Oh, what a fun shot. Oh. Oh, damn. Ooh. Actually, I'm sure this was a pared down, cut down movie, but in terms of direction, I see more of James Wan's actual camera style influence. More than what I recall feeling for the first one already. Well, we're in more tangible situations, yeah. So it's like less in the computer. I think there's a piece of ice sheet breaking off. Ah. It was the title card. No! Oh. There's an affect with the sound effects. Whoa. There's that affect. No. Sweet. Ooh. 
<laughs> Whoa, wait a minute. Oh. <laughs> oh. So like you create an actual s symbol or a shape. Put some ice on it. Oh! Whoa! Anime tentacle creature! Whoa! Whoa. Found the upside down. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> oh no, gloves. Ooh, oh <laughs> that's fate. James black. Wan horror right there. Whoa. Mr. Cthulhu. And all these wide angle lenses. Okay, we're like 15 minutes in. I'm still having fun. <laughs> Let's do a fun check in every five. Fun check in. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell happened to you? Oh. There's something back there. Is it my trench spinoff? But on set, James Wan was like referencing the thing the whole time. Yeah. I was so thinking about like that. The thing means Stranger Things? Hey. Whoa, questionable CGI. There's CGI? <laughs> <laughs> How is this place even possible? This was all probably solid ice until we started heating the planet. It's all our faults. Well, thank God for global warming, am I right? <laughs> oh, here? oh here. hell no. I am anti Black Manta now. I mean, no. The tracks lead down there. Suit up. The tracks lead down there, which means the monsters down there. We're going to a retrieve Excalibur. Neat. It's gonna be like that James Cameron water cave movie. I don't believe this. It's a you structure will. of some kind. And there's more buried in very, the Very, very good observation. <laughs> <laughs> eh. Everyone, oh, how cool. And search. Yes, sir. We stumbled upon something big here, Doc. This is heavy. This has to be a few thousand years old. Astounding. It's gonna be great on my YouTube channel. So he's just trying to find tech to make his black mantis suit more po. Oh my Whoa. god. So he's having so much more fun here. That's so freaky. I wonder how many of those trench spinoff ideas got folded into this. Oh. Uh, oh, that's creepy. Oh, ah! nice. Nice. Whoa. Oh. What is the plan here exactly? Oh, come on, man. Kick his ass, Caden. Yeah. Ooh. Just tell the monster you want revenge on Aquaman. He'll understand. Just ask to borrow some of his power nicely. I don't know. Maybe on TV it looks better, but so far the effects look really great. Other than the times when they don't. <laughs> <laughs> but some of them. <laughs> most of the time, they look all right. Oh. Oh. There's more of an assured hand, I feel, with the camera work. That tried oh. it. A warning to the wise. Is it the Black Trident? Whoa! Oh, yeah! <laughs> Let's go! Fun! Oh, yes! Yes! Hey! No, he's Ooh. using you. Kind of. You need to live so you can kill that son of a bitch! <laughs> that was his backstory. Oh, now it's premonition Damn. terrain. His home will burn. Oh no! His Boy, oh, that's no. Uh, cool. Very Avengers: Age of Ultron. Wow, his entire life set aflame. I'll, I'll cut you! <laughs> I'll cut you, squid! <laughs> 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 I'm just going to say it. If if Sam Raimi's name was slapped onto this, I think people would be people a lot more forgiving. It. I think it'd be the exact same shot movie. Yes. <laughs> people would be like, it feels like a Sam Raimi movie. <laughs> <laughs> they let him do his thing. You guys see that? Oh, no. 
Oh, God. Ah, what are you doing here? <laughs> Be careful on the bed. The council has called for an emergency gathering. There's been another plague outbreak. Son of a bitch. Hey, that was a good line delivery, all right? Was it? I thought it was the worst line delivery in the entire <laughs> movie, John. I have listened to every line de delivery in history of cinema. <laughs> the surface has been poisoning our atmosphere for what? over a century. We fixed that last time. You can't expect them to care about what happens to us if they don't even know we exist. If you want to be a part of the conversation, we have to take our seat at the table. Mm, like Wakanda. The high table. It's time for Atlantis to reveal itself to the surface. Let's call Batman and get on this. Maybe some other time. And I know this is against our traditions, but the world is shrinking, and the old ways aren't going to protect us anymore. We can't be isolationists. I like how his hair is moving, but it does not look like he's underwater. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Have you already forgotten that this plague killed your own beloved mental? Uh, oh, okay. There's our Willem Dafoe. Did they just kill off Willem Dafoe? I'm pretty sure they just <laughs> said <screen>. that. <laughs> Maybe he'll show up to surprise us. If we ever decide to make ourselves known to the surface dwellers, it will be to eradicate them, not to coexist. But I bought that coexist bumper sticker. So he needs to go to the surface, and he's dealing with Black Manta again. Okay. A lot of stuff from the first movie. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but it's kind of rare for, a, like, of these comic movies to feel like a direct sequel to the last one. Sure. You know? Sure, sure. No, really just like, it's got brand new this, brand everything's brand new. Whole new phase, new era, new everything. There and I have the whole kingdom helping us. But that little baby boy is still kicking our asses. And you, <laughs> taking care of me and raising me on your own. Where the hell is Nicole Kidman? She's filming an AMC commercial. Yeah. Uh, You're the real superhero. We are. I am Boba Fett. <laughs> <laughs> Vocal told me to bring the land and the sea together. Problem is, half of Atlantis still wants to destroy the surface. It won't listen. It can't bring shit together. Vocal believed in you. Here, here. I. I know. I miss him. We do too, the audience. What a crock of shit. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the worst sequel thing you can do. Yeah, it is annoying. I just keep going. You celebrate the wins, you mourn the losses, and you wake up the next day and you do it again. Sometimes not giving up is the most heroic thing you can do. These zooms have me expecting a jump scare. <laughs> I was speaking Maori. That's my native native tongue. Oh, oh. dude. I you wish know what I they could said? speak it so I could know what they said, too. They, they said, uh... I am Bubba. <laughs> he called him my man. <laughs> and then Arthur said, that's badass. <laughs> Somewhere in the Atlantic. What a cool set. Yeah. Is it just because my expectations were so, so low, low that I am enjoy? I feel like I've enjoyed this more than the first one? Sure. <laughs> Sure. It's just it just seems like it's really embraced the voice, the fun voice. So far I'm definitely enjoying it more than the first one. So He's far. He's got a suit. He's got a cool Wolverine suit. Humans were not made to live at these depths. You just remember who built this ship. I'm more worried about how long ago they built it. They literally look like the X-Men in X3. Yeah. <laughs> Like I like the retro B movie sci-fi look that they they have with this right now. This feels like Alien with a combination of fantasy, you know? I feel like I'm watching like a really big budget Power Rangers. <laughs> well, that's how I felt with the first one. Oh no, he's got the nose blood. Expedition log, day 613. Jeez. Kane is off on our most dangerous mission yet. A three-man Octobot infiltration team. Whoa. Ooh. 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 These ancient machines we found still function after all these years, but they require a very specialized fuel to keep them running. Kane calls it Oricalcum. Uh-oh. I'll remember that. It's that malevolent spirit. Suddenly he knows secrets that he couldn't possibly know, including the only way to obtain this Oricalcum is to steal it from highly protected storage vaults. Wow. He also informed me there wasn't enough time to show this all happening, so I had to record this monologue to get it I out was of the way say quick. The time frame on this is a bit confusing. <laughs> it said five months later, but was the six? But this is the six hundred thirteenth day that they've been on the, a journey. Of. Okay, you have fifteen minutes to get in and out. No margin for error. 
You can't go through the In-N-Out driveway in 15 minutes. <laughs> uh, no. Uh, it depends Giamatti's what time of night. Is not hardly <laughs> ever, yes. If it should take you through. Ooh, buddy. Those are pretty cool ships. Yeah, I like the designs of them for sure. <laughs> I like the swirling left to right like a fan. Octopus legs. Wowie. Open sesame. Nice lens flares, man. Stay vigilant. We have no idea what kind of security measures they have down there. They got a guard just hanging out. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> he talks like the octopus from Madagascar. Yeah, this is like a swashbuckling video game. Yeah. It's a fetch quest. I almost thought that was Henry Cavill. We got no reason to defend this. This is the last one. Yeah. Does us no favors. <laughs> you know? Burn it all down if we, if we must. But also, it's kind of fun. Yeah, this is really fun. Loading barge now. Wowie. Oh, uh, no, we're trapped. It's a trap. Change of plans. I need an extraction now. All hands to battle station. Oh. Two arms. There's so much diversity in this movie. It's woke Atlantis. I found it. It exists. <laughs> I'm in traffic. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you are illegally here. Power up the sonic battery. Illegal border crossing will be met with deadly force. No! Oh no. Commencing charge. It's pretty cool how much bigger of a role they gave him. They really followed through with that. Hydro cannon at front border gate locking in on target. Charger set to maximum power. Intruder in sight. Take them out. Oh no. Oh. Oh no! Don't fire on your discovery! Oh no. Oh, they got some real weapons! Whoa! It's like a sonar gun. Oh! Oh, damn. oh shit. Going ham! So imposing! The stakes have been raised! Sir, Atlantean hostiles are approaching. Oh, now it feels real. Yeah, the zoom. <laughs> the zoom. <laughs> Is that Nicole Kidman we just saw? There we go. Hey. <laughs> Heartbreak feels good on a shark like this. I like the armor cool. the sharks have. It's pretty cool. <sighs> oh my goodness gracious. Uh, ah. Oh no, they're they're date, they're me cute. Woo! Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> sick. <laughs> Come on, Atlanta. Come on. Oh, cool. Wow. Wow. Why are you an anime, man? This is so fun. <laughs> Uh, oh. Ooh. Oh. Ay. It's a good good looking out shark. Merge onto the freeway. Let's go Amber. Let's go Queen. Oh, excellent. Oh. Look how freaking cool this is. Come no. on. Crush, it's like a turtle. No. no, little dude. It's like in Star Trek when they're in warp speed. Whoa. Oh, that is so cool. Wowie. Hey, you had a pretty badass moment, I got it. <laughs> oh, is this the moment? She punches it. Yes. Ooh! Oh shit! <laughs> Whoa! Nice implosion! Oh! Ouch. Damn! Oh! Ooh! 
ruthless. Oh, not yet. I'm gonna kill me a dead mermaid. Oh, what? That suit looks so much better than the first movie. Oh no. Oh no. My bad man. <laughs> <laughs> Keep my wife's name out your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. The Atlantean army is headed this way. If we don't leave now, we're dead. Gotta get my revenge. Oh, my God. Oh, crap. Save those people. Nah. I get revenge first. Who cares about these people? That's fair. Excellent tracking shot. Yeah. Oh. Ah! Joes. Nice. Toby would be proud. Yes. I think this feels more tangible and lived in. Whoa. Oh! Wowie. Oh! What? Wow. Nice. It's like being in Aquaman's perspective. So sudden. Nice. Damn. And the soundtrack is much better so far, too. Dude, that was a great action scene. Yeah. That was a genuinely great action <laughs> scene. I was with yeah. it. The throne is the heart of Atlantis. Too often now it stands empty while our king spends half his time on land. Oh, they're questioning him. This tragedy is merely a taste of the havoc that will be wrought. I'm okay. <laughs> Put her in a back to tank. He cannot Damn. Protect his own family. Aww. How is he supposed to protect us? Dude, hats, hats off to Rupert Gregson Williams. I'm really enjoying the score so far. Those Gregson Williams mans. Do we know what was stolen? Aqua beards. He escaped with a large stockpile of oracle. Am I supposed to know what that is? <laughs> Power source that was used in ancient times. It emits tremendous amounts of greenhouse gases that are highly destructive to our planet. In fact, we almost destroyed the oceans ourselves before we realized what we were doing. Mm. They almost made the same mistakes as the humans. It can't be disposed of safely, so the remaining stockpile has been buried in 12 okay. storage vaults deep underground. No, we should warn the other places that are storing the stuff. It's already been there. It's all gone. Emptied them all out. Well, this spike in global temperatures that's causing disasters on the surface, making the sea dwellers sick. That happened five months ago. He's using the storm or calcum to heat the planet. He made the title card. He must be stopped or a global climate meltdown is imminent. We need to find him. I feel like this is topical. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> I think I know someone that might be able to help us. You're not going to like it. Your brother. Oh, yeah. He's the only one who might know how to find him in time. The fisherman will never allow you to speak to her. He killed her king. Yeah. I wasn't exactly going to ask for permission. My dad told me to talk to him. He's like, I saw Thor the Dark World. I can work with my brother. I'm going to break him out myself. Arthur Karshan is looking for a reason. <laughs> <Okay>. yeah! <laughs> Whoa, this looks weird. <laughs> What's going on here? <laughs> out there where I belong, where I'm actually good at what I do. Tired of uh, nothing ever getting done. This is looking so strange. What's happening right now? Is it's, else a else lo said? it's a lot of stuff. It's the CG hair. It's the lighting. The CG face elements. Don't do close-ups now. Let me not get caught. All right, this is straight mm. up toward the dark world. Ooh. Uh, it's got a very different energy. I just mean the plan. Secret, one-of-a-kind underground facility. They're assuming no sea dweller would ever dare cross the desert. Nice. Special outfit for you. Is that boys extra medium? Eh. Promoter force changed color and camouflage you for up to a minute, making you undetectable. Whoa. It's the most sensitive. They'll never see you coming. That's pretty cool. At least for the <laughs> minute that you can use it. Open comms are too risky. I'll be sending a second. Man, they, re they really made them edit this down. Yep. I think they're making it work now. <laughs> That's an octopus. Tactical That's a drummer, my friend. Topo, for sure. Topo. Topo Chico. Engineered intelligence for infiltration and espionage. He also plays a variety of musical instruments. Topo's. He does like in the first movie where he played drums. Topo gets an expanded role. Well, he was the most popular character in the first movie. Had to. Oh, there's a lot of a uh, lot of <laughs> liquid splatting on Aquaman jokes. Is ink piss? You just pee on it like the first movie. Death worshiping ascetics which survive and dry by turning to blood. They're like evil Groots. Cool. They're limiting his water supply just enough to keep him alive. Sure. 
And if you do see your arm, you tell him that I love him. Yes, Queen Frigga. I mean, Atlanta. Once you broke an arm out, you're not going to be able to turn your back on him. You need him, but you can never trust him. So kill him. <laughs> oh, damn. Oh, oh no. Oh. Tase me, bro. Patrick Wilson shirtless. Patrick Wilson's always shirtless. Yes. Look at him go. Oh, blah, 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 blah. Oh my god. Such a cool design on these dudes. Yeah, there's actual practical makeup. Whoa! We're in like Army of Darkness right now. Whoa! Wow. They really made this seem like this was going to be a real challenge. Yes. But they did it in three minutes. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell are you doing here? I'm going to break you out. Have you lost your mind? You must be very desperate. You're the one who put me here. Why are you bringing the bullshit? <laughs> <laughs> I got to stop David Kane from destroying the world, and you're the only one that can help me. So you do the math. Did they CGI? They must have CGI down his body, right? Uh, yeah. It looks Before like it. Yeah. <laughs> Cast away. Crab Wilson, <laughs> let's roll. Crab Wilson. Oh, <laughs> uh, so what? He like, gets dipped in water and he'll get his muscles back or something? I would imagine so, yeah. This changes nothing. Yeah. Wouldn't have it any other way, little brother. Just give us 20 minutes of screen time, then we'll bond. Call me half brother. Come on, Topo, you stupid squid. Wake up and open the door. You ain't so mad at the squid for? The cephalopod? <laughs> Trust me, it wasn't my idea. Hey, put some respect on Topo's name. He's doing shit none of you could do. He's squeezing into tight spaces. All right. Oh my god. These creatures are so icky and cool. Look, they, they did get Willem Dafoe, but they did get Willem Dafoe from Last Temptation of Jesus Christ. <laughs> you know how to ride one of these? Are you kidding? I don't know what the hell it is. <laughs> <laughs> ride the finger monster. Whoa, yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of unsettling looking creatures in this one. <laughs> Reminds me of Batman's wall crawler in Zack Snyder's Justice League. There you go. It's a tribute to the Snyder cut. Ah! Oh, yeah. Whoa. Oh, oh yeah. Damn. They burrow. What a specific kind of creature. It's pretty inventive to me. Get out of here. Yeah, <laughs> stay out. <laughs> I just wanted you off my back. Oh. Ugh. <laughs> I love how it was like 10 minutes ago they introduced breaking him out and they made his whole like, it's going to be this, 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 this. And it's <laughs> extremely <laughs> simple. <laughs> but he's got the predator suit, was, so I mean, you know. Ah! Oh, no. Save him, Orm. Take back our prize. Water! Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. come on, water. man. Just get him in the water. All he needs a little bit. He's like Percy Jackson. Yeah, this is when you get off and you go on foot. When he's this close to the water yes. is when you get off and go off. <laughs> yeah. All we need is a tide, boy. All we need is a tide. Let's go. Oh, my God. He's being baptized. He's being rehydrated. Hydrate level four, please. Is it ready? Oh! Yeah! Wow! <laughs> nice detail. With so I need to stop Food working out. I just need to go into water. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Yes! Let's go. Oh! Looks like Alexander Skarsgård now. Yeah. Tarzan over here. Badass way. Wowie. Whoa! What the hell? Ooh, yeah! You can't save that weird looking CGI with a frame rate change, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh, nice. <laughs> nice, dude. Hell yeah. Sidekick. <laughs> Literally. Yeah. <laughs> oh. King shit to do back in Atlanta, so. Go. This is a run. <laughs> Doing like a low key Naruto run. Yeah, why is he moving his arms? What's up with his arms? The real king has returned. Yeah. <laughs> but he has a bunch of fanatic loyalists down here. Give him your trident. <laughs> or should be reinstated. You know, if the pressures of leadership are too stressful, perhaps you should leave and let someone who knows what they're doing be king. I agree. Let Tapo be the king. Just help me find this asshole. My contact will at least know where to look. He looks so uncomfortable. I know. Look like they have to like force themselves to squeeze into this. I knew it was ruthless, but he wasn't insane. Jesus. This guy just put a gun to the world's head and pulled the trigger without even making any demand. He's drunk with power. I don't know about this whole like possessed thingy. I thought his motivation was enough. Yeah, but he's got to be powerful enough. Yeah, but he got his this, ask, like, he master got, layer of some type of weird possession I, thing. I, I agree with you, but he got much. he got his ass kicked so easily in the first movie, so they had to give him have him power up. I'm just talking about the possession part. Yeah, I'm just, just talking about yeah. like, the power up. Okay, okay. The power part I get, Andrew. <laughs> I think his look is cool with the green eyes, but like this whole he's insane because of the thing he did in. This is giving me almost like a Krypton feel from Man of Steel. Snyder tributes! Snyder tribute! <laughs> and green like kryptonite, and, and this could destroy our world like a kryptonite with Superman. I didn't think we'd ever actually have to use it on anyone. Wants to go back to Atlantis. We are this close to unlocking the greatest power in human history. Are you really telling me you want to walk away now? Yeah, if it's going to destroy the world. If I said yes, would you let me? Wait a minute. Uh -huh. Sure. You want to see how long you last in that jungle? Is that always the angle of the scar? Be my guest. Yeah. Okay. They would have messed that up. <laughs> you would hope. Way. You would hope. But <laughs> I, no, yeah. It, it was coming from that cheek up to that side of his forehead. At okay. Least. Yeah, I'll stick around. It's stick around. We scavenged ships from around the world to build this place. Cool. It is the one place in the world where the scum of the land and sea mingle. Mm. Scum of the land and sea, come out! It is where people come to disappear. An impressive shithole. <laughs> How have I never heard of this place before? It's not meant to be common knowledge. It's a pirate haven. Shitlantis. Listen, I don't know if you know this about me, but I'm not too popular with pirates. I dressed like Johnny Depp earlier and it did not go well. And there's a lot of rum in. here, too. <laughs> you can't trust him. Relax. It was the only way to get us both in. <laughs> Hammerheads. Whoa, it's Blade Runner underwater! Hey! <laughs> different dude on the drums, though. Let my man Topo get in there. They're all different creatures, John. It's like the cantina. Only Topo could play the drums! <laughs> yeah, they've got way more sci-fi this time. That's Kingfish. Do, 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 do. He brokers deals with pirates, mercenaries, slavers, you name it. Street sharks helping out. He's our best shot at finding Manta, and he's not going to tell us anything if you go in there flexing your muscles at him. <laughs> do the peck dance. You think you're up strong? I didn't realize you've been released from prison. Martin oh, Short? Jabba? I literally just said that in my head. <laughs> we need to find David Kane. Bad news. <laughs> David Kane is no longer on the market. Oh. He's solely running as an independent operator. And a smooth operator. Where is he hold up now? In exchange, I offer a favor. My brother. A sexual favor. From the king of Atlantis. You seriously expect me to play footsie with someone with that kind of blood on their hands? I don't hurt him. Ha ha! I've run rings around you logically. If the information checks out good, I promise you that I won't immediately come back here and tear this place apart. Oh, with that kind of a deal. Traditionally, the kings of Atlantis have turned a blind eye to the sunken citadel. Now, we have to blind it for you. Oh, offer him a seat at the table. Man, I like the look of a lot of this, but it's not exactly the most gripping stuff. Flex your muscles. <laughs> ah! Oh, no, no, no! Oh. 
<laughs> Take it easy on the street sharks. Uh, uh. <laughs> yeah. Wowie. What Whoa. chaos. Oh, wow. Oh. Uh. Damn. Oh, no. Is it, it going to explode? I don't know where he is, but there have been rumors. A, a dormant volcano in the South Pacific called Devil's Deep. Oh, badass name. Probably say there's a jungle there now. Navigation gets scrambled as soon as you start to get close. And if you get too close, you don't come back. Oh. And believe me, I am. I'd say that's where Kane is hiding out. Whoa. Or. Whoa. That's kind of what, that kind of summarizes this whole movie. Yeah. We got what we needed. Next scene. Yeah, let's <laughs> get out of here. We got, we got more plots to get out on. <laughs> Deep Sea Rihanna. Uh, yeah. We are starting, after, once we got to Orm Breakout Point, I started feeling like, okay, the trim down stuff is, I think, starting to actually affect my experience with this movie. <laughs> yep. <laughs> starting to feel a bit like a highlight reel. If anything, it's even easier now. <laughs> We couldn't have planned it any better than American Werewolf in London. Oh. Who are you talking to? Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who is the blackest Manta of all? <laughs> Somewhere. It is at a point where I'm like, okay, I need the noise to slow down a tiny bit. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> Just a it's starting to become a little loud. <laughs> Ooh. I've seen this but, Pixar short. But when the action kicks in, it is really like the, I think the I think the action is really great. Oh yeah. You know what would be amazing right now? Reinforcements. Great big greasy cheeseburger and a pint of Guinness. <laughs> now this feels like Predator. Even the words that surface dwellers give their food sound disgusting. Enjoying half the world. What do you think about that? It's your loss, dude. <laughs> <laughs> well, though, are the sort intense situations become the goofier Arthur becomes. <laughs> yeah, man, that's how he copes. What is it? Oh, Cockroach. my God. No you one. No one. Oh, he's totally... Pranking him. Oh, yeah. Shrimp of the land. <laughs> oh, my God. That looks like a real roach, too. <laughs> That's funny. It's not now, but. <laughs> That's funny. Got protein. Oh, my God, dude. <laughs> and I mean, a coconut, uh, like a good coconut, not yeah, a rotten coconut, yeah, would be yeah. like, you know, Mother Nature. You know, that's not even man's food. Huh? It's not surface dweller food. Pandora! Don't say stuff like that when I'm already thinking half the time, what happens if James, what would happen if James Cameron directed this? <laughs> you know? He did, an entourage. Guys, sure. you gotta get this out of your head about James Cameron and all that. Oh. Uh, Are you saying this? It's not normal. Oh, they're like on Skull Island. Yeesh! Ah! It's what happens when you put that green crap in there. Or the predator bleed all over it. 20 a month. You just ate that roach. Wow! That is, that is a, a rat? big rat. Oh, that is sad. Oh no, pizza rat. Rest in peace. Ah! Wow. We are on Skull Island. Great location. You guys ate the cockroach. I am wondering, low key, like I bet nothing will happen, but at the Why same does time, run like that. It's like I saw it the. Is, I saw the used movie. to swimming, like. Holy shit! Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Thank you, giant plant. Okay, that's CGI-ish. This is very much like a video game, this movie. Whoa, what a wild cacophony of plant life. Oh, shit. Wowie. I like it more than the latest Indiana Jones movie. <laughs> that was the best one. What are you talking about? What is that? What does that say? Writing against ancient Atlantean. A true king builds bridges. Hey, look at that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Ow. Oh my god. This really is a video game. It worked! Oh, it did work. Building a bridge. 
Unless it breaks in half. Luckily, it didn't break in half. Hey! I forgot to tell you! I <laughs> said she loves you! <laughs> I'm just tired of waiting for them to let us break the let this movie breathe normally. So I'm just gonna tell you now. <laughs> Wowie. Oh yeah, these things have hops and wings. Oh wow! Don't all those bugs have wings? I think they were grasshopper. I don't know. Jason Momoa just relies so much on having fun that at times I don't even care because sometimes they'll do like they'll cut to the next line of his at a different shot and it just doesn't seem like it's transitioning smooth from the previous shot. Yeah. <laughs> like, Screw it. He's having fun. Yeah. <laughs> you can't deny his charisma and energy. Even though it feels yeah. like there was, they shot this at a different time of day or a different day in total. What's contagious too is energy like comes onto us as well. Oh, I'll pick it up. I'll unlock your inner power. Uh. Don't put them together. Is it going to be some rush finale villain or a post credit scene? This is the DCEU. We could get another Black Adam dude. <laughs> yes. Same guy's going to be like, I've been waiting for you. <laughs> Wowie. The dead armies. Armies of Dunharrow. She's touching my stuff. Okay, Doc. You want to know my plan so bad? Yeah. I kind of forget you're in this movie. I'm going to kill Aquaman and destroy everything he holds dear. I thought we already knew that. <laughs> I'm going to murder his family and burn his kingdom to ash. I will avenge my father. Mm. Oh, boy. I have to make a deal with the devil to do it. Sure. David, you can't trust the trident. Four out of five dentists agree. I never draw this blade unless it's gonna taste blood. Oh. Pray I never show it to you again. Oh, you just broke the rule of the blade. <laughs> oh. oh. It had to taste blood. Fair, fair. You got him on the loophole. He's so much more intimidating in this film. Obviously, he's got way more screen time, but still. I guess I still think he could be a lot better. I feel like with his <laughs> actual character motivation, he could be more intimidating. Yeah. But I like yeah, that I mean, he's here. He's more effective, yeah, than the last one for sure. I just but, thought yeah. he was so cheesy in the last one. Yeah, look, Loki. I'm not asking for your advice. Loki. Oh, he called him Loki. Literally. That's what I said earlier. Thor of the Dark World. Go back to Azkaban for all I care. Making all At the least references. they embrace what they I, were doing. I think this one is more self-aware by a lot. That's what I'm saying. They're embracing what they're doing. You're the one who swam through the front gate and challenged my claim for the throne. Only because you're trying to destroy the surface world. If you were such an asshole, you'd still be king. Wait, wait. You took my throne and you don't even want it? Are you kidding me? I hate this job. He could be the king again? From the day my father found out you existed, he prepared me for the moment that you would come and challenge me for the throne. Oh, that's really sad. Especially when you think how easily I kicked your ass with basically no prep time whatsoever. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even stretch that day. But was it really you or the trident? <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> No. Look at this. Look at, there's such a retro vibe to it. Yeah. <laughs> it's a retro. It's like amalgamation of like retro sci-fi B-movies, swashbuckling video games. It's like Uncharted if, if it was Aquaman <laughs> or something. I don't know. Unchaquaman. <laughs> and there's something like a real fun sets and the depths look real. It know? does feel like you're watching The Hobbit or something in terms of like how the production values are coming together. And this is a nice one. That's a cool tracking shot. Yeah. Do one of those glass things. Yeah. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Woo. Boom. Don't want to be your monkey wrench. Let me kill him. What was the problem with shooting? You know, they're just probably murdered that guy. Sibling <laughs> rivalry. <laughs> the guy's more than likely dead. <laughs> this whole place must be heat shielded to protect it from the surface's thermal satellites. The question is how we stop it. To take out this reactor, we would have to crater the entire island. Get away from there. Oh, no. Come on, you agree with them. You like Atlantis. This blaster may be ancient, but it was built for killing Atlanteans. Real intimidating. Don't, don't try to mean mug it, man. 
Okay, I am so sorry. I did not need this. <laughs> I'm a scientist. David Kane said he could help me, but now he won't let me leave. You expect us to believe you have nothing to do with this? I know. I've done things I'm not proud of. Um. But he would have killed me if I hadn't. Knock him out. No, no. No. No, 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 knock him out. No. Oh. <laughs> but I want to knock someone out. You can come with us. Thank you. He's going to die right now. It's a direct link to some ancient evil. It gives Kane great powers and in with die. Yeah. Oh, with great responsibility. No. no. Ooh, and he's got no responsibility. He takes no responsibility. Ouchies. I do find it funny how there hasn't been much like. I hate when that happens. <laughs> yeah, they're yeah. making fun of the <laughs> how so many scenes in the last one just explode into a next scene. <laughs> he's barely done like actual Aquaman action. Whoa! Oh. Boom, boomerang. Nice. Captain Boomerang, Suicide Squad. Yeah. Damn. Oh. Geometry. He is just murdering humans left and right. It's okay, it's not Batman. <laughs> yeah, anybody else can do it. Oh, damn, that's spooky. He can't hear it. Yep. It's way too low. <laughs> Reminded me when the alien came out, the xenomorph and aliens out of the water for Newt. You got nothing but references, Andrew. Ah! That's all me. Oh! oh. Ooh, ouchies. Ah, Damn, fuck. that shot. Damn, foot right in Look the at camera. That. That was great camera work, man. That's some great ass camera work. <laughs> now he knows how to sell it. <laughs> James Wan knows how to bring the movie magic together. Save him, Arthur. Oh. That's my brother. <laughs> yeah. You'll do that to family. Oh. Ouchies. Ooh. Where the hell is Black Manta? <laughs> yeah. They're chilling. not making a lot of noise or anything. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. Not the orcalcum. You want to blow us up? This stuff blows up? Yes. This stuff blows up? Of course it blows up. Let's see some. Yeah. Look how humongous those chains are. They're like comically Anchors big. Anchors away. Woo. Damn. Yeah. Is there like an, a slime sound effect just there? <laughs> uh, it's just funny, like. Oh, nice! You're the ATAT -AT Walker in this experiment. <laughs> I, I like that sequence a lot because they they have to utilize their super strength, but kind of like Jackie Chan esque use items around them that are just so massive that only a superhuman could physically move I, it around. I, yeah, <laughs> there he is, David. Or my guard. I never expected to see you two fighting side by side. Nor did we. Just for you. Damn it. <laughs> that posture they have of it. I was gonna kill you last. But thanks for dropping by. Action scene two. Oh, you should have dropped something when you said thanks for dropping by. Oh. Oh. Whoa. Damn, nice. Come at me, the killer of king. Come at me, bro. Woo! Ah, just love stacking them up against these massive industrial items. Whoa. Bang. Don't touch it! Ah! What? Oh, no. Oh, no. The taste. The oh. taste. That was Atlan we just saw. Yeah. Wowie. Oh, oh God. No. Get him in the water. He's got mirrored. Get him in the water. That was a cool shot of Atlan. Whoa. Starfish. Take that island down. Near it. Let's go, King. Oh, sweet. You show that mean island who's boss. Ah! Oh, yeah. yeah, let's 
go. <laughs> wow, that's... I, I do think they did such a great job on the scale. When you see, like, the human characters against everything else. Like, I like that they let the humans look tiny in comparison. Yeah. That's really colorful, too. Yeah. Well, I mean, a lot of these movies can be yeah. very drab and gray. Mm -hmm. Like... <laughs> oh, the Sonic Cannon. I'm gonna go kill your father and baby. Help him, Orm. Water physics. Or Mira? Yes, Queen! Chills everywhere. She's in the movie. Now wrap your legs around him. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to drag you all into this, but the fisherman can't think that Atlantis was involved. Now this looks like Power Rangers. <laughs> yep. My kingdom has not forgotten its debt to you. You may count on us always. And so it counts as one! What? You Genre. guys always make the comments at the same time. It's like in a, in a race to com comment, you two. <laughs> what is, what, who was that? Why, no, he can't be trusted. And he who? cut off my claw. That sounds I think like Peter that's Cullen. John Reese Davies. John Reese Davies. <laughs> 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 I saw the Lost Kingdom. You don't remember he's in Indiana Jones? How do you know what you saw was the Lost Kingdom? Oh, they said the name of the movie. It's called Necris. Oh! oh! And I didn't just see it, I knew it. Necris. During King Atlan's time, there were seven United Kingdoms of Atlantis, and the Black City was a curse upon them all. Uh-oh. Everyone looks so much more saturated on that land. Yeah. <laughs> she knows, like, everyone's colors are just so much more striking. <laughs> <laughs> By exploiting Oracalcum, Necris rapidly became a superpower unlike any other, but it came at a terrible price. Poisoning the land. Wowie. Atlan's own brother, Cordax. Cordax. To stop using it before the world was irrevocably damaged. Hey, oh, that guy. it's that guy. It's Euron Greyjoy. Thinking his own brother was trying to steal his power. They definitely didn't cut out any of his scenes. Nope. <laughs> Instrument of evil. The Black Trident. <laughs> One trident to rule them all. He transformed Damn. His people into monsters. He made the orcs. To fight Atlantis. So the two brothers went to war. God. Oh my god. They can't have history repeat itself. They have to change this. Ooh! And imprisoned him and all of Necris with a spell cast with his own blood. Ah! Isildur! To ensure that Kordax's dark power would never be found. Y'all gotta start destroying this shit outright and not just burying it. Evil was supposed to remain frozen for eternity. Let it go. <laughs> but David Kane has found it. Mm. And it's slowly possessing him. Oh. Atlan used blood magic to seal Kordax in his prison. Only Atlan himself could release him. Manta doesn't need Atlan himself. Manta needs Atlan's blood. Duh. The key to Kordax's prison is the royal bloodline itself. What does that mean? He needs blood from either you, me, or Arthur. That's what it means, guys. Oh my god, I just put it together just now when he said that. We're the end of the bloodline. Oh no. No, we're not. The baby! Ugh! Do a movie. <laughs> now it's turned into Ghostbusters 2. Unprecedented weather events across the globe, and meteorologists are at a loss to explain this rapid... Uh, wow. There's so many dead animals in this movie. <laughs> One is gonna die. Oh no. If they kill the baby... Big respect, movie. Bold movie. <laughs> Bold move. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> that was sick shot. Mmm! <laughs> no! Jesus. Damn, that's cold. Cut to you, dead baby. Papa! And and the baby. <laughs> I'm sorry, son. What do you care? Talk to you no, no! No! Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, baby. Oh, no. I love this movie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. That is so funny. <laughs> I think them telling them to pare it down sometimes is is the best thing they could have done. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> then you get past all other shit. It's uh, like, uh, and they probably razor. watered it dramatically. It's so hard where you're like, I can't take this serious. <laughs> Occam's razor, man. Sometimes love the that. simplest answer is the best. Did you see that? One, two, three. No, no, no. <laughs> It's <laughs> so funny. I'll never forget that. <laughs> Meant to be taken seriously, but laughable. No, no, no. <laughs> Move over, Vader's no. <gasps> oh. But it's broadcasting on an old Atlantean sonar frequency. It's Morse code. Bring out a little love back. Yes. Awkward Don't have this day. conversation oh. with your wife. I like that they have got it with her. your mom. <laughs> you really do forget that that is also Mira's baby. <laughs> I like that they when got When she her ran out back. screaming, I was like, why is she so upset? Oh, that's right. <laughs> Promise me you will protect each other. Promise me more. Or I'm going to do my best. Family. Aw, the Aqua fam. Like that they brought Atlanta's theme back from the first film. No, oh, a reference to the actual thing we're watching. <laughs> I was going to say that's a reference to my family. Because, you know, I have a mom and a brother, right? It would have made sense. I ruined it. <laughs> <laughs> Our only chance is to hit him with total overwhelming force from every direction. Not with Junior in the crossfire. Something about Dolph Lundgren. <laughs> he's talks? got like a little bit of a dude thing going on <laughs> yeah. in this movie. <laughs> well, what if we disrupt those echoes? It's another sound wave on the same frequency, but just it's much, much louder. The loudness wars. Well, that's going to be the easy part. Oh, we are true disruptors. Arthur, you got so dumb <laughs> after all. <laughs> I've been spending my time on Muscle Beach when I'm not in the <laughs> road. <laughs> Give me some suntan oil, man. I am the weapon. I don't need it. He's not just capable he of just just grabbing just... it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude. And then Dwayne Johnson's going to throw the missile at it in a minute. I mean, a stronger reference probably would have been Gal Gadot showing up at the top, like at the end of. That's fair. Yeah, because she's in both franchises, you know. So is Dwayne Johnson. That's right. The power hierarchy did change, didn't it? <laughs> All we did was fast forward things a few years. Yeah, this was already going to happen. Power up the Sonic Cannon. Drop the beat. Is he going to see the error of his ways? I hope not. I love how they made this one note villain from Aquaman 1 even more one note. I know. Just with much more screen time. <laughs> How do we take a character that would have been fine enough on its own and play into one of the worst tropes of our <laughs> own franchise? <laughs> Ooh, yeah. It's the title sequences. Yeah, the premonition. Oh my god, you can roll an ember like this. Oh yeah, the dodge it all. The day <laughs> after tomorrow. Oh, here we go. Fishes! <laughs> Assemble! <laughs> oh no, the whales are pissed. Whoa. Why don't their ship take them all out? They're just animals. Aren't they just regular animals? There's a whole realm of power that sea creatures have that we are just unaware of. Taste of your own medicine. Wow! Wowie! Did the, the fish, they did that? They just combined the power of all of their sonar high-pitched frequencies and overwhelmed the system, Is that I what guess? happened? That's what I took from that. I, I, I took what he took. Thank you for that explanation, John. Any old time. Okay. Sorry, guys. This movie's too smart for me. <laughs> <laughs> That's really why they need to reboot the DCU. It's just flying over everyone's heads. Damn, that is icky looking. It's like a skull peering down into the depth. <laughs> Back to where it all began. The place is immense. It could be anywhere. The throat of an 
Empress is in the heart of the city. I sense something in the water. Everyone, light it up! Light it up. <laughs> Constellations. Didn't you say that Kordax turned his people into an army of monsters? Yes, I did. Uh, imminent action sequence ahead. Oh no. Where is Will? Ooh. Damn, no music to compliment. It's crazy. Yes, queen. This would be a good time to call in all those mammals. Ooh, nice. Go now and save the prince. Thank you, Ernest. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Thank you, Mr. Krabs. Whoa. CGI was really off there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I'm looking at. I mean, there are a lot of invertebrates under the sea. I don't even know who John Reese Davies is supposed to be. He's Mr. Krabs. Release the armies of Dunharrow. Sometimes the the speed on the CGI of the humans is so weird. <laughs> yeah. Oh! Ew. Use your axe! Yeah, man. Oh, no. Not Show now. Show him you're a better person now. Not now, dude. No. <laughs> His expression. He's like, really? Hey! Ah. Uh... Fine! I have no other tentacles! <laughs> <laughs> Just the one I needed! <laughs> I mean, Orm's not a bad guy. Oh, side of respect. Oh, damn. I mean, was you Orm- did good, Barnacle Boy. Was Orm really ever a bad guy? You know, he just had some bad, uh... Bad, too bad, some bad but policies. Yeah, he got where he was coming from, man. There, why wouldn't you? What? <laughs> We live in America. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, screw these people, we're going to war. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we step our foot in other people's wars, and I was like, you know, this makes sense. <laughs> oh, my dude, you did it! Ah! Well, he's clearly going to be be the king at the end of this. Yeah. Whoa! Damn. The double tap! Let's go! <laughs> Jeez. She's just like a little Easter egg character. Oh, let's go, Uncle Shin. Damn, baby must be freezing. Ooh! Okay. Ouch. He's not wrong. Oh, the knife, the blood knife of blood! Oh. <laughs> Nautical baby monitor. Bam! Oh! Oh, that was a good line to learn. Yeah, man, let's do it. Go, mermaid man, go! Woo! When will the beat drop? King Shin. <laughs> no one calls him Aquaman. <laughs> I know. <laughs> He's only been called it like twice, including that one. Whoa! Damn, dude! That was a great shot. Yeah. <laughs> Tell you, man, look at this shit. This is way cooler. Let's go, Aquaman warehouse fight! Trident versus Trident. This is a badass shot. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Woo! Damn! It's like an anime. It really yeah. is. Ooh. Oof. Orm, save him! You wear my brother's armor and wield his trident, but you're only half the man he was. I am ten times the king Mufasa was! <laughs> Let's go! Every time I say that, Mara saves him. Mira just keeps showing up in the nick of time. Yeah. She's the MVP of the movie. She's in the movie? That's our baby! Yes, it is his. <laughs> Stand over it for a second. Go. 
Oh shit! Whoa. Yeah. Snyder shot. Just gonna look at it. Oh, oh shit! Yeah, barnacle boy! Run! Fight it! No. All my power will be yours. No, don't listen to Sauron. Isildur. <laughs> oh. Oh. Green eyes are gone from him. Ah, uh, damn it. Damn it, Barnacle Boy. Kill him, and you will be Ocean Master again. No. <laughs> Fall into a side splits. <laughs> Either you kill your brother. It's just a dead eye. Don't listen to it. Oh. Oh. Up. Oh. Damn the blood. it. The blood. The mouth blood. Destroy the trident. By Atlas blood, this magic is broken. Magic it again. I'm done fighting your puppets, Cordax. I'm coming for you. Whoa. That's from the first movie. It's time for me to reclaim my destiny. Oh, you can have no. it. You were foolish to think he could ever change. You are the one true king. Atlantis deserves its one true king. <laughs> Just hopping around between both. <laughs> yeah, he's literally playing both sides. <laughs> one true king. Don't worry, you're gonna be the king by the end of the movie. Calm down. You both need to put it down. This is from the first movie. Protect each other. This is from this movie. <laughs> Come full circle. This development is just so compelling. No matter what, you are not alone. We're in this together. Oh, he got the teardrop. Aqua tear. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Can't hold it back anymore. I live again. Her what? After 10,000 years, I'm free! Whoa. Shit. <laughs> Why would that work? My shit. Wowie. Oh, cool. I better get ya. Yeah! Yeah, there we Speaking go. There we go. Destroy it! Yeah! Just like in the Suicide Squad! <laughs> It's like I live again for 30 seconds. Damn. Best DCEU villain ever. <laughs> <laughs> Black man is the second one. Let him die. Look, let him have an unceremonious death. He didn't save his father. Is he going to save him? Bring it full circle, Art. Come on. Oh, he's going to save him. I just hope a rock hits him. Don't beg the ocean for forgiveness. Are you gonna take his hand, though? Just fall. Just fall. Sykes. <laughs> it's so generic. What a tragic death. Oh, no. David, David had them trim that down. We need the mid credit scene showing how he survived. There you go. Perfect Great four. Ten, wow. ten out of ten. You're going to the Olympics couples diving. Dr. Shit, can you swim? Yeah. It's okay, he can survive sub-zero sub temperatures. Come on, baby. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. Everyone Lockish. gets a ride. <laughs> that Dr. Shin survived this. Woo! Look at those water sims. But what happened to Mr. Krabs? Yeah, what happened to Mr. Krabs? So Dr. Shin just like got here all dry and... Yep, he's good. He just got thrown up by that squid <laughs> machine and he's fine. His regular human And he's human able to genetics. survive in Antarctica. He's just a regular human. Thank you. Dude, take him to Atlantis. Astounding. Astounding. Hey! hey. That's hey, still hey, only hey, counts hey, as hey, one. 
My claw got cut off. Ooh. Your debt is paid. Not everybody's gonna see it that way, though. Might as well be king. It's too bad you went and had yourself killed back there. <gasps> I love this cliche. All this ice, it'd be impossible to find the body. I love this cliche. Orm spinoff. Let's go. Keep him in the DC gunverse. We may need to call you up for some advice. You know, the whole running a kingdom thing. And then he spins off into his own A team franchise. Interesting. Really thought it was gonna end up being king. Brother. Oh, the emotional ah. arc is complete. Now kiss. <laughs> yeah, the forearm shake. You son of a bitch. The shake <laughs> of kings. You do the right thing when doing the wrong thing is much easier. And you're willing to ask for help, even from your worst enemy. You really took Dumbledore's advice. <laughs> <laughs> if you lead, Atlantis will follow. Now do a barrel roll. After all, true king builds bridges, right? Then knock down a statue. I thought that was just a metaphor. Your metaphor <laughs> might have just saved the world's ass. And I'm going to get a burger. Oh my god, is it over? We got Dr. Shin. Where's Dr. Shin? Entire civilization, hidden for thousands of years, about to be revealed. Where's the UN? None of this is gonna matter. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> it's literally the same. It really is that ending. The result of weeks of secret negotiations with the United Nations. We now go live. Would people be wowed by that? We got a Superman already. But not from under the sea. I mean, it's different. It's like you've had a hidden civilization for so long. I come here today as a representative of two worlds, the land and the sea. And I stand here as proof change is coming to both. And I'm calling for global unity. Absolutely. Atlanta stands ready to help contribute its science and technology. That bastard did it. That <laughs> seems strange and unfamiliar. A cheeseburger! The burger! John! He got the burger! You called it, John! The burger! Oh my. I'm the king of Atlantis. I am Iron Man. I am Aquaman. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta do that. You gotta do the Iron Man thing. You literally just mic dropped. Literally Bravo! mic dropped the end of the movie. Bravo! <laughs> Have a oh, out Jason way. Momoa did the story? I didn't know that. How many people have set, like, movies to this song? I want a list of all the movies that use this song as, like, a badass character theme. All right, everyone guess the mid-credits or post-credits scene. Go. Oh, they both get a burger. No, wait. The, he gets a divorce from Queen Mira. Uh, a teaser for Boba Fett. No, it's Black Manta surviving in all the green stuff. That's right. Third like billing, song. baby! Born to be wild. Orm to be wild. Uh, Martin I Short called that shit. I called that shit. Yeah, I had. A, I thought that was him when I was listening to that voice. John looked it up on IMDb. I looked the whole movie and plot line up, and all the cast, and the guy from Game of Thrones. He spoke uh -huh. one line, and you were like, "It's Martin Short." Yeah, I know his voice anywhere. Mm, and nah. then the more he kept talking, I started to have doubts, but it all paid off in the end. Nah. Henry Cavill. Put a roach on it. Yeah. Put <laughs> a roach on it. Yeah. <laughs> That's the cockroach from SpongeBob. Yeah. <laughs> That that's the best mid credit scene. I called better, that shit. That's still better than the Flash post credit scene. I called that shit. Hey, you actually did. You called the cheeseburger. You called that. You're just all over it. I called these uncallable things. <laughs> well, you know what? I think the costumes were looking fresh, fresh, fresh. this time around. Everyone was really popping, <laughs> popping because of the Ooh. attire they be wearing. John, do the hair thing. Oh, oh yeah. Squid. Do it for real. <laughs> <laughs> you can't do the real version. 
anymore. Or he's like, oh, wow. Too, too I'm going to try to do the oh, subtle draw attention. I want to see it where really. it's like it, the wind is blowing, it's but okay. it's not, he's not underwater. I'm trying to promote the shirts, guys. Nothing? Oh, Take okay. it away. All right. All right. Well, I got my America's ass shirt on of Homelander here, Dude. and he's got his nip chills. John, do the hair thing. I got the Vecna game. That was hey. more natural. You're getting it down. There you go. <laughs> Guys, rejectnationshop.com. Thank you so much to everyone who has been supporting the channel in the most miraculous way by picking yourself up some attire to represent yourself as a citizen of this great reject nation. And we got all all these kinds of shirts right here that have been amazing sellers and uh, it makes me just so happy to see because we're involved with pretty much all of them uh, creatively wise and, and we got more coming this year so hop on board the reject nation train and get yourself a tea and you look good while doing it while supporting the channel oh yeah if you're listening to this on apple and spotify we just watched aquaman and the lost kingdom people now 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 might i might i kick this off please mightily no no no, no! best moment in the entire movie <laughs> best that's reaction so, ever from greg that let's give it to so you. funny <laughs> that was hilarious i all right so before watching this I really had no interest in watching it, honestly. Like it, 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 it has two of us. It had gone down so much. The first trailer was like, "Yeah, this is fine. This is more of the same." And then the second trailer was like, "Yeah, I don't give a shit about this." And then the reviews came out, and it just seemed like no one was liking this movie, and it just sounded awful. And I, and I was like, "This is gonna be like a tedious, boring experience." So my expectations, and I think for most of us, were were somewhere towards the ground. They, they were <laughs> very much at the bottom of the ocean. Mm. And going into it, I maybe that had something to do with it. I'm sure it did. I, I'm 100% confident it did. <laughs> feel like if this had crater reviews, I'd be like, what the hell is everyone talking about? Sure. <laughs> but uh, because they were so bad, I watched this. And I kind of like the first Aquaman movie. That was one where I visually appreciated it mm. so much so at the time. Mm. But as a narrative, I thought it was kind of a dull film. Mm. Uh, the characters I thought were boring. Uh, I didn't. I was never emotionally hooked into anything that really happened. I just sort of watched stuff happen and was occasionally impressed and kind of just waited for the next action scene to happen. And this movie moves at such a fast pace it is a onslaught of noise and and just uh it's crazy action but i had so much fun watching this mm -hmm. at times was it paced in a way where cuz you could always tell like it just seemed like every single scene was trimmed Every single, you can feel that not even were it trimmed, there are definitely deleted scenes yeah, in this sure. experience. And a lot of trust to get saved by montages and dialogue, overlapping sequences. Almost every single scene felt like it was significantly cut down. However, I still think that they managed to find a way to still be i still feel like the ultimate end product was probably very self-aware mm -hmm. i still think that the script at hand that just because of certain things that are happening here that there seemed to be an actual embrace of the silliness of the cheese the things that people would say worked about the prior film mm -hmm. i think they just exceptionally tripled down and then when we were told to cut down the film they were like well we got to just double down on that shit even more yeah, <laughs> we got to yeah. just go through the mayhem even more because the action I thought was consistently really entertaining. That first action scene in Atlantis, when uh, when when uh, Atlanta, the, Nicole Kidman shows up, I had that thought going of there is just so much craziness happening here, but I can I can easily keep up with what's going on. And and I thought James Wan's direction, you could actually feel James Wan. I feel like you only saw that kind of in doses in. The last Aquaman movie, because for the most part, I wouldn't feel like James Wan was behind the camera on that. <laughs> mm. On this one, I felt like I was watching James Wan's camera work mm. for most of the movie. 
it, even if it got like you know tarnished via editing via studio interference and whatever i still felt like i saw his camera work on display where a lot of times it looked really cool so i found myself laughing at the film i found myself laughing at the film i found myself laughing with the film i really enjoyed the action are there problems so much problems <laughs> but it constantly made up for it. Only, there was only like a 10 to 20 minute stretch where I thought it was getting a little tedious and a little dull. Mm -hmm. uh, but for the most part, I was, oh, and they would do something that would just like pull me back in. Like I, I had that comment at one point where I was like, this movie should have ended 10, 10 to 15 minutes ago. And then they go into this action scene where Orm and not Orm, uh, Black Manta and, and Aquaman are, are trident, tridenting it off. <laughs> In this crazy one take that looks straight out of anime movement, there's a camera movement for it. That I was like, wow, was worth waiting the extra ten to fifteen minutes for that shot. <laughs> that was freaking cool. You know, uh, I had a, I had a really fun time with this, and I think the effects were dogged on before watching. And are there some pretty bad effects at times? Yeah, but are there some great effects at times? Yeah, <laughs> you know, for for every bad thing, there was something that would happen that would just kind of pull me back in and I would get lost in this swashbuckling video game anime B movie sci-fi mayhem that we were watching. So I had fun with the cacophony. Honestly, I did. And um, there's no, I have no dog in this fight to defend it. That, that <laughs> I never do. And, and <laughs> that I, especially now, like it's over. The DC is over. What's the point? Nah, <laughs> yeah. Get that last minute shilling in. So I had, I, I, I actually had, uh, and it's probably more fun in, in you know, in, in an area like this where we can like kind of make fun of the movie and, and like audibly. <laughs> you know? Sure. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Where we don't all have to be silent and respect. <laughs> yeah. And resign yeah. ourselves through scenes and not like actually let out our moans and our groans and be like, God, this is kind of stupid. You know? Yeah. Because I, I thought there was a lot of inventive wackiness and monstrous mayhem happening throughout, man. So, um, yeah. All right, boys, flip a coin. Let's just do this at the same time. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Like, like the reaction. Ready, go. <laughs> Take it away, Andrew. Take it away. All right. Um, well, like you, Greg, and you, John, uh, I was not the biggest. I, I know we're like the three people on the I planet. I am the biggest fan of the first the first. Yeah, we're, we're like the three people on the planet who didn't care for the first film. Um, yeah, no, this one, I mean, wasn't the greatest film, um, but I, I, like Greg, I had a lot of fun watching it. Um, I think you said it best during the reaction. Like when I, one thing I do want to quickly touch on, I know I said Black Manta, um, he's a little more menacing in this. I meant the performance. I forgot the actor's <laughs> name. Um, not uh -huh. the character itself. Yes, I know he had Cordax uh, was affecting him. That whole thing could have totally been tarnished. And I, uh, you know, you could have just had the black trident and that's how he was able to power up without the whole Cordax thing. I think that would have made it a little bit better. So I'm in total agreement there. I just meant his performance was much more menacing. Yes, we got way more screen time than he did in the first film. I just appreciated his performance a lot more. So I just wanted to clear that up. All right, no fighting here greg um but uh yeah this <laughs> film was again my expectations i did not watch any trailers um for this film because i don't know why why didn't you invite me um but um, <laughs> um do a special trailer watch party. Don't, know, don't know how to do this on my own time. Yeah, no, that's, that's true i don't have i don't have access where to do the they inter put the trailer i don't have access to the internet but no i i <laughs> I, again, I wasn't the biggest fan of the first one, so I kind of just avoided the trailers, and uh, I did not really have any expectations, if any, at all for this film. So uh, having said that, um, I had a lot of fun watching this one, and I think the thing I appreciated the most besides Patrick Wilson and Jason Momoa's interactions, Jason Momoa's energy, it just kind of was just so infectious and just kind of just spread on to the audience, if you will, and I just loved his performance so much. It was just fun. Um, <laughs> also, too, um, who's the elephant in the room that's going to say this? But um, she was barely in the film, which I understand. I don't think she needs to be an elephant no, no, in no, the room. No, no, but, like, uh, she's really skinny. She's, she's, I want to call her an elephant. <laughs> yes, yes, exactly. She's pretty fit. But, um, I mean, she wasn't really in the film, which is fine. I didn't, either way, it didn't really bother me. Um, but... 
I can't really say anything. I would say, like, from a narrative point of view, like... Why you are know, you making it weird, Andrew? I don't yeah, know. Why am I making it weird? Whoever heard's <laughs> presence is like most every other supporting character's <laughs> presence. I, I would, it doesn't I, feel particularly I, pointed. I, I would say from a narrative... I mean, if we're going to get into narratives, though, in terms of characters and arcs and all that, I mean, I really didn't think Aquaman had much to do in the film. Yeah, he had to free his brother, and, you know, there was the emotional arc there, but in terms of a character arc, like you know, accepting being the king and, and that, like, because he kind of said, you know, in one of his interactions with his brother that, you know, I never wanted to be king, I don't like it. And then by the end of the film, like, okay, what has changed other than uh, your brother said, like, you have to make the hard decisions and you do that so well. I'm like, okay, that's it. Well, in the last one, he felt like he wasn't worthy of being king. And this one, he learns to kind of be like, all right, I, I'm okay with being king. <laughs> It's oh, powerful okay. storytelling, man. Never, never sure. mind. I take sure. back everything That's I just said. That's why they throw a lot of shit at your yeah. face to distract you yeah, from but, it. Okay. <laughs> but having said that, the action sequences were a lot of fun, albeit a few CGI things. But like Greg said, there were a lot of CGI that I really did appreciate. Whereas in the first film, again, there were some great CGI shots, but there were a lot too. Where I was just like, just jarring for me and just... Uh, just in your face, not enjoyable in my sense, just taking me out of the film. Um, but this film, I, I appreciated it a lot more. Um, overall, though, again, it's it was a fun time is the best word I would use to describe this film. Um, it's nothing super deep or anything, but I don't think it was trying to be. I appreciated how self-aware it was. I mean, <laughs> even called him Loki when, I mean, I mentioned, uh, you know me, my, I'm a reference machine, and I even said it's like <laughs> Thor the Dark World, so like... Hey, we're trying to do Thor the Dark World. Let's just, I'm just going to call you Loki here. You're yeah. my brother. I mean, so I, I, I actually appreciated that it was aware of how ridiculous it was being and it was self aware. So, I mean, he sort of just does the I am Iron Man thing. At the yeah. Time. Yeah. And I feel like they know they and the mic that. drop. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Totally. But uh, yeah, no, I mean, I, I, like, I like Jason Moe. Yeah. And, that. And, and I know this film got a lower rating score of 5.9, I believe. And the first film got like a 6.8 or whatever. I don't care. From I who? Uh, on IMDb. Uh, I don't uh, care, but I like this film more than the first one personally. Yeah. But I thought it was more fun, at least, than the first one. You know, in terms of narratives, I think they're both sh shite. But, yeah. Um, <laughs> but I think this one was more. If I ever had to rewatch this one or the second or the first one, excuse me, I would definitely rewatch this one. <sighs> yeah. Uh, I, I like. If anything, fun. at least for the no, I would yes. rewatch it for that. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I, I just think the seriousness in the first one, I, I could never take anything oh, never. seriously. And I was just either laughing at it or, but I, I felt like I would laugh at it without yeah. it, without it being like any, any awareness that like, this is, they really want to be taken seriously right now. And so here they were like, screw all yeah. seriousness. Uh, and, <laughs> and we're not even going to really try. And really yeah. quick to your point, just really quick. And I'll let John go to your point. There was a scene in the very first film where Black Manta's uh, father was, uh, about to die and like he's doing the slow dramatic run as he's like I don't care about either of these characters and why like no and like with Ru Rupert Gre uh, Gregson's William uh, Williams's music I'm like this is so ridiculous how serious it's trying to be right now and so to your point I completely agree with you John I felt like melodramatic where this had no drama it was just <laughs> <laughs> like some brush over the serious stuff but there's a positive message and shit in it it's nice. yeah all right John do all the criticisms sure the lack of supporting cast Black Manta being a weak character yet again a uh, waste of big villain at the end. Predictability. <laughs> Come on, there's a lot of bad things. Well, I, this, Lay is into a, it. this is a fun and interesting experience in this movie because this movie represents uh, so many of the pitfalls that so many other DCEU movies have had. And I feel like, yeah, on the heels of the first Aquaman, I'm like, so much about this movie is like really similar to that movie. Uh, and even though that movie has an extra half hour's worth of breathing room, this movie, having half hour's less breathing room, comes across... Like, the first Aquaman is, like, the okayest of this entire wave to me. It's, like, s f flat in the middle. There's not much original about it. It's a little too serious, but it's got a big imagination. In this movie, I think there are a lot of bugs that come out of the choice to make it fast and breezy, but a lot of those bugs become features, and I think that's 
what it's like yeah hearing the response to this movie has been fascinating because to me especially now having seen it it feels like a lot of people's processing of this was very much ingrained in where it falls in the franchise how much of a point is there to having this experience at all if we removed all that i'm sitting here looking at this and thinking to myself this is a perfectly fun swashbuckling (laughs) silly movie that that manages to go after some of that lord of the rings scale but instead of doing it in oh the weight of the crap and the drama we're gonna do it in the scope of all the crazy ass places we gotta go and uh and yeah i mean you know are is your whole supporting cast like winnowed down to the point where you forget half them are there until they show back up again like amber heard not being here it, it would be one thing if she was the only character that was happening to but like pretty much every character i would forget about except for arthur and orm and, and kind of manta Shin is really like the third guy on that totem pole I was always having in mind, really. And then Mm. Manta way down here and then everybody else way down here. So, yeah, like it's weird. There are plenty of criticisms to Levy and none of that stuff is really what comes to the forefront of my mind. Like it's yeah, you get the globe trotting, swashbuckling, gallivanting. You get some fun imagination. You get your tributes that are obvious, but without feeling like they're too impressed with themselves for doing those tributes in the first place. And, uh, yeah, you know, I, I feel like for the conclusion of this, it's a little funky. It's a little weird, but, uh, I don't know. I thought the, the, just the, like you said, I've seen a lot of things, especially in this wave of cinema that are noticeably retooled and reworked. And I've seen versions of that that go over a lot more poorly than this does. So I am kind of fascinated at the response to this being as overtly sort of like, we knew this was going to suck and it did. Whereas I sit here and I kind of agree with you. I'm like, I would sooner probably throw this on as opposed to the first movie, because at least this movie, you know, we can get all the angsty shit out of the way and now we're just having fun, you know? And, and like, yeah, gripes about Manta, you know, I feel bad for Yahya because even though I guess he had more screen time, I felt like he had less screen time and they do that thing that has, plagued a lot of these dc movies black adam comes most freshly to mind because it was most recent but like (laughs) yeah we have this demon guy who looks cool and comes from a cool place and that guy is basically just going to take over this other guy who we actually have like an emotional connection to and then he's going to become the villain and like it's cool but also like we just (laughs) go to dunharrow at the end and do the dead army from lord of the rings for a hot minute and then we're done but like yeah, like that's a true and like that goes even back to you. You can find that in Wonder Woman and so many other of the DC movies. And that's what I think is funny here is that they really did just like pull one of their tricks out and go, yeah, that's going to be the villain instead of going with I've, in relation to this and many other superhero movies lately. I've heard people say we don't always need the world rending stakes. Sometimes personal stakes are better. And this is an instance where I'm like, damn it, man, <laughs> if they just made Black Manta have all they had to do was have him maintain his agency. He can go team up with Cordax or whatever he wants, but like have him maintain the agency. Yeah. So I care when the character shows up because it really made everything with him super Oh what? yeah, super yeah. silly. Agreed. My big, well, my biggest, compl- my biggest complaint, of, actually, over everything is that I think they bought Black Man had some cool fight moments, and there were some cool visuals around. Like I, I like the enhancement of the glowing of the red eyes, yes. where, like through the smoke and the mist, and you just see it yeah. like blending in with it. What I thought was really cool. Uh, but in terms of a character, you know, there is this like big scene where he, he you know, he's gonna, he's threatening, uh, Dr. Shin with the, the blade. And he's like, you want to know my ultimate plan? And he just reiterates, I'm like, yeah, there's nothing new here yeah. that, that I thought we, wait, he wasn't in on this from like the very beginning. Yeah. This seems like the exact same plan. And as a character, I don't, I did, I thought they completely wasted him. Yet again, completely. He's just more more, more brooding. <laughs> like he was already one note in the first movie, like with this like a layer of oh, I lost my father, so I guess it's not entirely. I felt like Yaya was at least bringing, trying to bring like a depth to the first movie, and then this one, I think he saw how shitty this was and decided whatever, I'm just gonna go full force. I'm just aggressive, and it was way more one note. Mm-hmm. Uh, this movie didn't give a shit about that character. <laughs> I not do, at all. It's very obvious. Like Atlanta, I don't uh, Nicole Kidman. I was like her presence. That's the thing. Is the it's not just that they had less screen time. It's that their presence wasn't even felt. Yeah. You would that's why you would forget about them. Yeah. You know, Atlanta, she would be there. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, she's in the movie. <laughs> um and then Mira especially, that was the one where I do think 
it seems very apparent that they certainly cut some shit out. It she like should have been more was, involved. In it this was whole the thing. bare minimum requisite amount they gave her because because at first she's in it, and I'm you're like, well, why isn't she ever with him on land with the baby? They're like you never see them as a family together, and they, there's so much emphasis on the baby. I might care more about this baby. Literally forgot she was die. the baby's mom. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and then uh, when she shows up. Uh, and when she gets harmed, I'm like, okay, well, she's not going to die. Maybe she should be more important. Then she just kind of just shows up for a couple of few badass moments, but she doesn't feel like a character. And uh, I feel like Dolph Lundgren weirdly felt way more like a character than the other two. But that's <laughs> yeah. like a, barely a compliment uh, because he was just that ca- voice. The voice. He's kind of doing some weird like dude yeah. voice the whole dude time. Or yeah. Yeah. Muscle Beach King. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's a weird voice. Yeah. Uh, but I liked Patrick Wilson. Uh, I thought he was having fun. It was nice to see them like lighting up in a way that didn't feel like they were sabotaging the characters that came mm-hmm. prior. Yeah. I don't feel like Orm was necessarily a bad guy in the first movie. There, I, I kind of understood where he was coming from. Like, yeah, if I was in this guy's position, I'd totally be like, the service people were bad. Why not? Why wouldn't you think that? And to see them kind of deconstruct that, pull that layer back, I thought was fun. Him and Jason Moe had good chemistry, mm-hmm. great music in this movie throughout. And and again, I feel like there's an actual, like the first movie certainly breathes better. The first movie certainly feels like for all, for all purposes, it's, a movie. A movie. It actually feels like a movie. And this it's, feels like some weird project. Well, but they both I had so much more fun watching this one yeah. than I did the other one. Agreed. They both have these qualities that feel so requisite in how they're telling their stories. And I yeah. think the choice of pacing this one this way just works better if you're going to do that. Yeah, because I, I at least like... Um, I still feel like, wow, there's some cool James Wanisms in this one mm. versus the last one where people are like, oh, you know that trench scene when they see the trench people. <laughs> that, that's like a James Wan moment, right? <laughs> and, and Lee Wanell has a cameo, so so it's super James Wan. But everything else just felt like it could have been directed by somebody else. Mm. And, yeah. and this was the first time, you know, there, maybe that had something more to do with more scenes being not in ocean. Mm. Uh, but a little more like different locations, more land stuff. Where, he, but even under underwater, I think he he got a better grip on a lot of the visuals. Mm-hmm. For like, I like the more sci-fi populated cities. I really felt more like oh, instead of just populating it with a bunch of CGI creatures, mm-hmm. I actually got a sense. I bet a lot of it was cut down. You really yeah. get that, but but you got a sense of like a little bit of that gangster world. It feels like Star Wars. Like everything feels like it's like you know yeah. Yeah. ripping Ab- off something else. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. They got traffic and they got a bar. Yeah, yeah. you know they got all sorts. Because of They stuff. had Job of the Hut. They had there. news. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's not Dolph- just King stuff. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and Dolph Lundgren did say that a lot of the film was cut down. So I mean, as always, you know, we got to release the one cut. Um, but I'd say the most unbelievable thing that we saw, especially from Black. Black Manus character, especially at the beginning, that took us all immediately out was that the th- the helmet we saw was cut straight <laughs> down, but the, the scar was in a diagonal line. It's like, I don't understand that. Yeah, it was weird. I mean, <laughs> it probably would look stupid, honestly. Oh, straight, <laughs> straight down. Weird down. Strip yeah. Supervision choice. Yeah. Yeah. Just had like, the helmet. Going what looks back. cool on one thing looks different on another <laughs> yeah. thing. So we got to have them both be cool. <laughs> like, it's a movie about a man who can swim. Just, okay. I mean, he barely does king stuff. They have so much so that they have to lay out what he did at the very end, so that way we know what he did as a king. Like when Orm's reciting all that, I was going, I didn't really pick up on any of that. All, all this stuff about, you know, hey, you're willing to do the hard things, and when when doing the wrong thing is yeah. easy, and you know, even helping out, or going to your worst enemy. I'm like, yeah, yeah. there was like no real emotion to any of that uh, shit throughout yeah. this journey. <laughs> but I'm glad you laid He's that doing out. Doing what he has to do. I'm glad you told me what was going on. <laughs> yeah. But in a way, that's better. That's that's yeah, good. It's, yeah. We should be able to for look back t- and be like, oh, he is right, isn't he? Yeah, but for the tone of this film, I mean, yeah, I don't know if that <laughs> yeah, would have worked care. for this. I don't care. Yeah. Because, yeah, it was fun. Yeah. I, it's it's it, fun. There's some, but there's like actual style to it, though. At the yeah. same time, there's style, there's purpose, and there's like truly rewarding 
action visual scenes, you it, know? It feels like people showed up. It feels like they maintained a spirit of fun along the way, and it feels like they didn't give up when the movie got gutted. Like, like it seems like they really worked to smooth it out as best they could. Like, there are sequences and visuals that I would gladly, like, look up a clip for, you know? Oh, yeah. yeah, I don't know if I'd ever watch this movie again, yeah, sure, but I would, sure. I would the, just the, sort of look up certain scenes yeah, or like key moments The one again. where those crabby things are going, it's very inventive. There was that one where the crabby things are going, like, into the wall, and yeah. it's, like, that was pretty cool i mean yeah quite a few of those no it's got a lot of imagination and a lot of like fun comic book stuff like this felt more like paging through some kind of swashbuckling comic book yeah it's more madcap yeah skull island it's yeah. everything it's a whole bunch of things yeah. <laughs> it's a whole bunch of movies just smashed into one yeah in a, in a way where yeah, once in a while it's you know at time at times though i did i would find myself craving all right slow it down a little <laughs> bit so because you got to have a bit of a balance that way the madcapness can be more rewarding and enjoyable yeah, for sure you you just need that balance to yeah. so because if it's just that one pace which it is <laughs> but i guess that's if i had one actual gripe it would be that like i i think they could have spent any amount of time and i know people will whinge if amber heard's in this movie anymore but <clears throat> i think it would have been a more conscientious choice to favor the movie and maybe show them as a family just a little bit. Yeah. That baby becomes more than just a literal MacGuffin. When she's just in like her same outfit the entire movie. Yeah. yeah. It just yeah. Shows she up. doesn't get more than a couple lines in any of her scenes. Which yeah. I watch something like this and I'm like, it's distracting. I know people lost their minds when that court case was going on. But you know what? Make the movie smooth and just feature her a, a little bit more in appropriate places. Yeah. I mean, if you're going to feature her, you might as well commit. Yeah, you know, like she's gonna, she's in it. It's not like she shows up in the beginning and leaves forever. Like you know, yeah. she's you're intermittently placing her throughout. You might as well commit and to it's her. her and Arthur's <laughs> freaking baby. Yeah, and I we mean, barely even spent time. Like once we leave the baby after the prologue, I had to like the movie. Once it cut back, I was reminded, like, oh shit, he's got a kid. That's yeah. right. <laughs> oh yeah, and I mean, you do see Mira there in the beginning for like a tiny bit, but like her. It they're, leaves they're, no impression. They're leaving. Yeah, I was like, wait a minute. Where is she? Is she like, like sometimes staying here and, and then other ever come see the kid? Yeah, because sometimes she's not. It's, I, like, what is the living situation? Does yeah. Arthur just like, live with his it dad? It seems like Arthur constantly buzzes off and just stays on land. <laughs> yeah. and is like, screw the kingdom. This is where I sleep. This is my home. <laughs> you know, but he clocks like, out at six. Mira's PM, like but... not there ever. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's strange. I'm like, guys, I get it. I know you hate this person for various reasons. We we'll won't talk about that. It's a good idea for a spinoff, though. It would be nice. <laughs> yeah, if. if if this baby's mother was around, yeah. if we're going to commit to the idea that she and Arthur are still together. All right. Well, what would you like more, the flash or this, Andrew? <sighs> wow. What a question. Jesus. Oh, my goodness. This movie. Why do you have to put me on? <laughs> um, <laughs> wow. Oh, God. Uh, this was definitely more fun. I would probably choose this, but oh, Michael Keaton's my favorite Batman. The highs Damn in it. Flash are higher, but this is yeah. a much more consistent I, I, experience. I would, I would probably choose to watch this, but I, st I, but I, I'm like watching Michael Keaton back as Batman, but I, I would probably choose this. This is a movie I, I wanted to stay looking at no matter what, yeah. whereas there are many times during Flash where I would rather not look at what is on screen. <laughs> the, yeah, the, the, as much as I think the answer should be probably the, Flash, the, I think I would probably like Flash, watch this the, sooner. The two Barry Allens just completely really annoyed me but i would probably say the uh i'd probably choose this i feel like the flash is probably a more cohesive movie a much stronger <laughs> like a more uh, a better movie probably Maybe. i'd yeah, rather I'm, watch i'm this. talking movie versus experience sure <laughs> it's probably a better conceived and assembled film maybe perhaps but also, also too being such a fan of flashpoint paradox in general i'd rather watch this yeah i just feel like that was such a misguided decision in general but I would miss Jason Momoa's role. I didn't think I would until he was here. He seemed even more, even though like a lot of the takes weren't consistent. You could tell huh. that there were reshoots. And he had a tear shedding too yeah. in one scene. I mean, yeah, he, he committed. committed. You got yeah. it. Yeah, I'm gonna miss him as Aquaman. I was like, oh, but sure, you know what? I am gonna miss him. He's as still guy. hey, but the he good is, is my man. Yeah. yeah, he's still gonna remain in the. D whatever they're calling it. Um, so that's good news, I guess. Uh, oh, and not, I guess I'm happy he's still sticking around. Lobo or whatever, whoever he's going to be. The, so that's the question because they don't have any Aquaman stuff slated right now. So are they going to do this thing where they do like a phase one and then go, okay, this is going all right. Oh, we're bringing him back as Arthur Curry. Or are they going to go Lobo? Because I feel like they could do either. 
He's one and this is an ending with huge implications that apparently is not going to matter at all. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> man. They opened a window up to the from world. Here. Nowhere. <laughs> they gave vibranium to the world. Such a huge ending. That's like, yeah, it's not, none of it matters now. Yeah. Go big or go home. Are you, or if, go big and though, go home. Even though nothing ended up happening from here, are you guys sad we didn't get a Ben Affleck scene or yeah. a uh, Michael Keaton scene? It, I, think I just would have loved to have ben seen Ben Affleck it. especially because they actually got him to come back. Yeah, to do no, it. no, we saw it. And originally they yeah. were supposed to have Michael Keaton do a scene as well. but Yeah, yeah and spe- I think you are right. Like that, that whole meeting at the end, I'm like, it does seem weird for the Justice League not to be Like, here. hey, welcome at one of our teammates. At least just standing in the here. back, you know, here yeah, for, for support. support. Yeah, like yeah. we all yeah. like, up. Uh, we talked okay. about this first. I remember that yeah. Steppenwolf thing? Yeah, I was there to help out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. I was a part of that. So you guys know me from that, and now I'm in the spotlight here, yeah. and uh, I want to talk to you about ecology, I mean, saving the planet. Yeah, I mean, knowing that this is it, I understand why, but yes, agreed. They, t- should have they do there. distracting Justice League cameos in every other movie. Yeah. Yeah. Done yeah. Wouldn't it even be cool if they did the Shazam thing, just showing them from the back with oh, that? No. All we Show them, but just their butts. All yeah. we needed was... <laughs> The Wonder Woman theme. Play She's every theme it. on top of itself. <laughs> and just Yeah, they're all showing up. All righty, guys. What did you think about All Command of the Lost Kingdom? Did you love it? Yes. Did you hate it? Yes. Do you agree with all the critics? Do you think it's better than the first one? Do you... What, what, come on. What's your honest take on it? Are you going to miss Amber Heard as Queen Mara? <laughs> yes. Leave your thoughts down below. Subscribe. Click that bell. Leave a like. And uh, we will catch you all flippity flip flip. Thank <laughs> you.